Cashmere Bulldogs will play for the state championship Saturday night at 9 o'clock after a come-from-behind victory over LaSalle. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't easy on Friday night, but Haley Van Lith set a charge in her teammates with 24 points on the night. A lot of that coming in the second half as Cashmere had to come from behind. It was a 5-3 contest after the first quarter. Cashmere did not score until a minute four left in the first quarter, but Coach Brent Darnell says he wasn't worried. I mean, it seems like you would be, you know, and, and the first things I said when I walked in at halftime is I told the girls, don't worry about scoring. We will score points in the second half. The ball is going to go in. You know, um, I haven't worried about that with this team before, but I've had teams before, and I, I worry when you're not getting shots. You know, when you're not getting shots and the shots in your offense that you're supposed to get because the other team is really good defensively and they're athletic and long and they're, they're well coached, I get worried. If we're getting shots, we'll, we'll end up making them. We, it might not be a great percentage, but we're going to make them. So at halftime, we talked about don't stress out about making shots. We're going to make shots on our offense. We're not changing anything we do offensively. Uh, we're not going to put in a new offense at halftime just because we're not making some shots. We'll be fine. Just focus on what you can control and what got us here. Defend and rebound, defend and rebound, defend and rebound. And I thought they did a great job of defending and rebound in that second half. Limiting Trista Hole really did a good job of trying to take them, her out of the offense trying to make them one and done. They're too good to give second and third chances. We rebounded the snot out of the ball. Um, and then we got going a little bit on offense and our defense stayed the same. So, and we talked before the game, to win this game, to win a semifinal game, a state championship game, it's not pretty all the time. It's not, it's, it's gritty, you know? And, and if you have to win gritty, you gotta win gritty. And I thought we did. I mean, that wasn't pretty at all. They, those girls were just tough as nails and just gritty and just grinded that out. Just super proud of them. Haley's been called a killer, and Coach Darnell says he likes to have her on his team. That's why people just love her and love following her. You know, she's super flashy at times. She does things that we can't do, and I think that's what's intriguing about her, and people love watching her. But I think the big reason why people love her is all that stuff that she, that she does that great players don't like to do. You know, a lot of great scorers like to hang around the three-point line. Uh, they like to drive and score laps. They don't like to go in and rebound. They don't like to play defense. They don't like to be touched. And Haley is just a warrior in there. She'll just do whatever it takes to win. Big rebounds, big steals, uh, defending the ball, helping and rotating. I mean, she's so smart, basketball IQ. She just, what makes her so great, you know? The, the blue collar workers that played high school basketball that weren't flashy, but they did that stuff. You know, they rebounded, they defended because that's what their coach asked them to do. They love her. That's why they love her. You know, so and that's what makes us great, makes her great. So we needed that stuff from her tonight. And the girls kind of rallied around her and uh, some other girls made some big shots to help us win that. So Cashmere will play for the state championship at nine o'clock. We'll have it on the NCW Life channel and I'll be doing reports on Facebook as well. Here at the Sundome in Yakima, I'm Eric Grandstrom for the NCW Life channel.